Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Marketing, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and connect ClickFunnels to Active Campaign, and we're going to be tracking and transmitting purchase information. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. We have our sales funnel here. We have our initial offer page with an order form. We have two one-time offers and then order confirmation. And we're trying to sell all sorts of products and everything along our funnel, just like a typical sales funnel. Now, in order to transmit the order information to Active Campaign, we do need to use a third-party tool, which is Zapier. And it's free up to a certain point, and then it's like $20 a month, and then it goes up from there. But of course, being able to track your customers and what they're buying is very valuable. So it is well worth the 20 bucks or whatever should you get to that point. Now, first things first, we're going to go ahead and hit make a zap. And we'll go ahead and name it. I'll just call it click funnels to AC purchases. And you can name it whatever you want, of course. Now we've got to go ahead and set up our trigger. So this is going to be click funnels. Uh, Zapier is going to be watching ClickFunnels for any sort, sort of activity and then it'll trigger the rest of this zap. So let me search for ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels, and we're going to be looking for a new purchase. So it's like this option right here. It's save and continue and you're going to need to go ahead and click your connect your ClickFunnels account if you don't have it connected already. And it's really easy to do. You'll just follow the steps they provide. Hit save and continue and now we're going to go ahead and what funnel should we watch for purchases? Go ahead, hit a little drop down. Go ahead, select your funnel. And what you probably want to do is watch all funnel steps here. Now you could watch individual funnel steps for different purchases. However, more than likely you're gonna wanna watch all funnel steps so that way you're using one zap for that entire funnel. Go ahead, hit continue. And if you haven't already, you're gonna need to go ahead and go through your funnel real quick. Now you can just use a test credit card so like I'm in test mode right here so I could go ahead and submit a test order go through the funnel that way Zapier has some information to pull from and so I've already done that so Zapier has some, some information so I'll hit fetch and continue and I can go ahead and view my purchase information here so here's all the purchase information that was pulled in to Zapier from ClickFunnels so We'll go ahead and hit continue. Now we need to go ahead and choose our action app. In this case, it's going to be Active Campaign because we want to send our data and information into Active Campaign. I'm going to select create slash update contact. Hit save and continue. Go ahead and select my Active Campaign account. And if you haven't connected your Active Campaign account yet, you would go ahead and do that at that step. Now this is pretty self explanatory. We go ahead, hit list here. Select what list we want to add the contact to, email. Go ahead, and, go ahead and find the email address. And you'll notice that it says contact email and contact, contact profile email. I don't really know what the differences are right here, but I always select contact contact profile email. And then first name, so first. And then we got contact contact profile first name, last name. Last contact contact profile last name uh, phone number so if you collected their phone number you could put that in here and contact contact profile phone number tags I'm going to come back to that in just a minute here uh, and then we have all of our other fields here now you might have custom fields like you might have created address fields inside your active campaign account so you could of course you know sync address information to your active campaign account, which could be hugely beneficial. So there is that option as well. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. All right, so coming back up here to tags, you're gonna use tags to track what people purchase. So you need to assign like a unique tag for every item that they purchase. So that way you can segment them and trigger automations and all that good stuff. Now there are several ways you could assign a unique tag per each product. For example, you could assign like the product ID or the product name or the product statement descriptor. So there are several different ways and it really comes down to how you want to approach it. Now I typically just use the statement descriptor for my tags. So let me go ahead and hit this little option here. Search for descript product statement description. So cat, paw, stud, earrings in this particular case. 
And so where do I get this statement descriptor? If you come back over to ClickFunnels and you're on your page and you come to products, you go to edit, pops on up. This is the product description or description or the product statement description. So you can assign unique values right here and whatever you write right here will be the tag that gets applied to their account. So basically you'll wanna make sure that what you write here is associated with a tag, which is associated with an automation. If of course you want an automation triggered when they buy whatever product. So for example, cat paw necklace right here. Um, right here I have cat library. So the cat library tag would be applied to their active campaign account. Come into OTO number one, go to products, edit. So I got the cat paw stud earrings in this case. So that tag would be applied to their account if they purchase that particular product. And so that's how I go ahead and I assign the various tags for whatever product they purchase to their active campaign account. So that's how I set up my tags, hit continue. And I could hit create and continue and it's gonna push this information into active campaign. But I'm actually just gonna skip the test and continue. Hit continue, I'm gonna make this live real quick. And now I'm gonna go test it real quick just to show you how it works. Let me close this out real quick. Pop this up, grab my test credit card number. So this will be Nathan plus AC2. Crazy on marketing, I'll do two cat paw necklaces. I'll grab this library right here. Enter in this credit card stuff, complete order. I'm on OTO number one. I'm gonna buy two of these cat paw stud earrings. And then I got some fancy cat earrings. I'll buy one of them. So here's my order information right here. Now if I go over to Active Campaign and look at my account, I should see tags for all these products. And here we go, looking at my profile. I subscribed a few seconds ago, Nathan plus AC2 at crazyoutmarketing.com. And here are my tags. So I got cat library, cat paw necklace, cat paw stud earrings, fancy cat earrings, and again, those are the statement descriptors that I have assigned for each product. And then of course, I can have automations triggered from these tags and whatever the heck fancy stuff I wanna do inside of ActiveCampaign. And so that's really all there is to connecting ClickFunnels purchase information to ActiveCampaign by using Zapier.